for you. And it's our biggest selling drink, which was quite a nice surprise, because usually whiskey drinks tend to be, well, fairly unsung, um, and they tend to be of the standard ilk. So we wanted to do something a bit different and kind of make an approachable drink that would also showcase whiskey in a different way to people. Um, what we've done on the bar in general is try and do bespoke things. We make as many of the ingredients in house as we can. Uh, but also just kind of change people's ideas on stuff a bit. So instead of just using standard souring agents or standard bittering agents, we're using you know different types, different kind of approaches to it to make people kind of understand even their kind of commonplace things like sourness and bitterness in a different way. Um, and the, the idea for the drink was kind of taking all the things that were deemed good for you over the years. So going back to the Victoria, Victorian times, they, they used shrubs, which were vinegar-based uh, preservatives, cordials, uh, and they were always regarded as being kind of very, very good for you and kind of tonics in their own way. Um, and obviously, you know, I spent a lot of time in Scotland. You have whiskey if you were ever ill, a nip of whiskey or a hot toddy cures everything. And then one of the last ingredients, sage, was always the druid's herb, so it was kind of the last kind of cap on the ingredients. So, it's quite a simple sour style drink, so it's made with egg white body. Lemon juice. We use the compass box of cider. So it's got that kind of sweetness from the grain, but it's always got kind of a firm multi background to the drink. And then we have a honey and lavender shrub, which is based on cider vinegar. Um, fresh lavender and then just sweeten with honey and then we just use a bit of sugar to balance it up so you get the sweetness of the whiskey and then you get the two layers of sourness that comes from the lemon juice and the shrub as well so it's just no you, you're shaking that without ice shaking without ice so it just means it gives body to the drink without having diluted it so it just kind of helps trap a bit more air into the drink. So when you shake it with ice, it gives a bit more, it just kind of gives it a creamier texture, adds a bit more air to the drink. And, and it that's affecting the egg white. It's affecting the egg white. As, the, as you shake it, the proteins in the egg white unravel. Yeah. Uh, it forms a web that helps kind of trap all the air as it shakes in. So it kind of works as you add water to the equation, but just giving it a bit of a head start helps just the body of the drink. Strained, keeps the body of the drink, but it takes any of the fragments of the ice out of it. That looks really good, actually. <laughs> and what's the garnish? A sprinkling of sage dust. Nice. A homemade sage dust that just kind of you get the aroma of the sage and it just ties back into that idea of all the things that are really good for you. It's called a panacea, so it's a cure. Cool, thanks for having me.